I love stories. I love to hear stories. I love to read stories. I love to tell stories because stories have so many interesting things about them. And they teach a lot of good lessons, too. In the Bible, we find that Jesus told a lot of stories. And what he did is he captivated his audiences by the stories that he told. But we also have the stories about Jesus, which makes the Gospels themselves so captivating. One story that really captivated me recently was the story about the Samaritan woman at the well. Jesus has to go through, and the scripture says that he had to go through Samaria. And if you know the history, you'll know that back in Jesus' time, the Jewish people had no relations with Samaritans. They were enemies with one another. And yet Jesus had to go through Samaria. And then you have a woman that's getting water in the middle of the day. In that area, in that region, during that time, to get water, you needed to do it early in the morning because the sun can get really, really hot during the day. Well, why would a woman be getting water during the daytime, during noontime? We find out later in the story that this woman had been married five times and now was sleeping with a guy that wasn't her husband. And that caused a lot of disgrace on her and in the place where she lived. Now we know in the story that Jesus tells so many things about this lady's life to her and this lady is shocked. She's saying, wait a minute, how is it that you know so much about me but you're a complete stranger? And I've heard about the Messiah, that he's going to come soon. And Jesus said, here I am. And she was shocked. And so what she did, she went back and she told everybody she could in the city. And it says that the whole city came out to see what was going on. They came out to hear Jesus, to meet with Jesus, to hear what he had to say because of the message of this lady. And so this lady, who is never named in the Bible, she is the messenger. And so they believe because of the message that she brought to them. But then after that, they said, you know what? No longer do we believe because of what you told us. But we've heard personally what he, the Messiah, has said, and we believe that he is. They had a personal encounter. They listened to his word. There are so many lessons that we can learn from this story. One, in the increasing racial tensions that we have today, who is going to be the messenger of God to be able to cross those lines, to be able to go the extra mile when somebody possibly is persecuting you or persecuting me? Who is going to walk and listen, not preach, but listen, to what's going on in somebody else's life. His disciples were shocked that he would be talking, first of all, to somebody of a race that was hated by the Jews at that time. Secondly, talking to a woman all by himself. That was not proper in the culture. And third, talking to what people considered a prostitute. We cannot be the judge of somebody's character just because of the events that have happened in people's lives. People are calling out. People are needing what Christians have, which is the life and the hope of Jesus Christ. So we need to be these kinds of messengers with the conviction, but with the love and with the passion of sharing what Jesus has done in our lives and the Word of God that people will want to hear more. And so we need to encourage others. Hey, this is my message, but this is the Word of God. Read it. Read it and receive the truth because the truth is what will set people free. It is our testimony and it is the truth. And to call out to God personally because God will respond. And so all of these elements work together to bring deliverance, to bring salvation to an entire village. And that is what God desires. So let's be his messengers today. Let's reach across, whether it be reach across to the 
the neighbor next door to love our neighbor that way. Let's travel to another city or to another place, wherever it is possible that we can be his messengers, his testimonies, that people will not only hear about Jesus, but they will want to hear more about the God that has transformed our lives. Let's do that today. Let's be a blessing in other people's lives, just as Jesus has been a blessing to us. In his name that we do it. Amen. Hi, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. If you've received a blessing by watching this video, pass the blessing along. Recommend it to others. Let people take part in this blessing too. Write any sort of commentaries that you have down below because I, I want to hear your feedback too. May God bless you today in Jesus' name.